just... Yeah, me too. That That's what I look like running to. Hi everyone, it's me Lappy, and welcome back to The Sims 3, The Crosby Family. So, this is a different recording session. It's been like an hour since I last recorded. And so I did finish up um, a plan for the storyline. So right now what we have is Mr. Odin Crosby cooking up some sushi while Heather is still asleep because I kept her up really late trying to make a friend. And looks like Odin reached level 5 of his cooking skill. And he's going to eat up his sushi real quick. So I let him do that, let him have his peace before wifey wakes up. Oh, looks like it's hailing outside. There are still a few days until fall, dude. You don't you don't have to do that quite yet. <laughs> that zombie is just Yeah, me too. That that's what I look like running to. <laughs> Let's see where he's going. Where are you going, friend? Oh, is that your house? No, that, that that's nobody's house. Okay. All right. I guess I can live with that. You're gonna read a book, but your fun is pretty much all the way up. You need to use the bathroom. Sir. Take a shower. I'm... Do you have work today? No, it's l it's leisure day, I think. I think? Maybe? Might be? But, regardless, you really need to get up and get some food. Odin, when you're... Okay, she'll clean up after you, I guess. Mess with the shirt. What are you wearing? Why aren't- why weren't you in your sleepwear? Whatever, I, I guess I shouldn't care, just let her eat. And then she'll probably go back to bed. Cause she's still super tired. And Odin, you just mostly need some, um, social dude. But, I guess we're fine. Let's just have you cook a lot. I guess we'll have him make a pumpkin pie, because I've never had anybody make a pumpkin pie before. It's pretty warm out. And it's leisure day, so I guess she's fine just continuing to sleep. We'll have her hang out with the guy that she needs to befriend later. Have Odin make that pie. You know, I've never had a sim make a pie before. How close are you to leveling up again? Not very, because you literally just leveled up. But, you know, it's whatever. Right. We don't have a pool, so you can't throw a pool party, dude. I'm sorry. Let's just speed through until he's done. Okay, there we go. And we can put away the leftovers of that. We'll just have him cook a lot. Waste a bunch of money on food that we probably won't get around to eating because we'll have so much in the fridge. Okay, Heather's up. And she's going to take a shower on her own. Alright. Okay, since his social need is low and her fun need is getting kind of low, we can have them woo, I guess. So, Odin, buddy. Gotta have you guys... Oh, I forgot that this is so complicated. We have to have them both relax on the bed. Why do you want to take a nap? It's, like, super early. Okay, let's... Woohoo. And just let them do that, I guess. Do your thing, guys. Knock yourselves out. And now her fun is all the way up. 
It, you you guys have been married for like a while. I'm 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 sure you've woohooed before. We'll just have her grab some pancakes. Let you grab some too. You guys can eat breakfast together. Cause you're in love. Even if you can't, you know, agree on what you want in life, at least at least you love each other. So she's going to grab her pancakes. Oh, I did end up reading their descriptions, and I was right. Heather does really want kids. So these two are going to just chat it up. Need, need, Sharkuni. Talk about the hail that happened last night. <laughs> And she's gonna ask, you know, are you absolutely sure that you don't want to have any kids? Hmm. And he's like, yeah, hmm. Heather, I'm pretty sure. He has a huge nose. I never noticed that before. But yeah, they're talking. And he doesn't feel like dealing with it anymore, so he's just gonna go to the bathroom. And Heather's gonna, you know... Put away the leftovers. Clean up while he's in there. And then she's gonna, like, try to talk to him about it more. You know, tell him a story about how much she loves kids. She's like, you know, they make my whole world go around. They're like rockets. They're so, they're so good. And he's like... No. He's gonna argue with her about it. They're gonna have a, they're gonna have a fight right here, right now. Just huge disagreement. He's like, no, no, I'm not feeding no bottles to no kids. And she's like, he's being impolite. So he's gonna argue with her a little bit more. And she's like, calm down, okay. She's like, okay, you know. Give me a kiss. No. No, they're they're not getting along very well right now, so she's just gonna, you know, get out of here for the moment. She's gonna head over. She's gonna visit the shallows, you know, she's gonna talk to that guy who she's supposed to be friends with. She's gonna kind of vent to him. Sure he can talk to Yvette, I don't care. So she's just kind of going to run off to her friend's place. And they have a big house. Like, oh, oh, that's a beautiful house. This is like her entire dream. She's going to go ring the doorbell, I guess. Whoa, okay. What is happening? One thing I don't like about this game is that the graphics just glitch out, like, a lot. Okay, there's her friend. She's like, hey, can 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 we hang out? Yeah, sure. He's like, yeah. I don't see why not. Uh, who does he live with? This Kurt guy. I think that's his dad. I don't know. We should ask him if he's single, just I'm curious. Of course, she would never, <laughs> ever, <laughs> even consider. Yeah, he's in a relationship. Okay. She would never consider cheating on her husband. Anyway, she's gonna compliment his house. She's gonna get to know him. Talk about family. Talk about the heat because it's kind of warm out. Get to know him. I should probably, you know. Debbie put them in lighter York. clothes, but it's about to be Elani. fall anyway. So we'll have to wait until next year to do it. These two are gonna chat it up. She wants to have three friends. Sure, I'll, I'll let her tell that dream. She can make more friends. Uh, oh, she apparently has an easy time making new friends. So it's probably just me, like, this game is just hard for me, I guess. So she's just gonna chat him up. 
Where are he going? Oh, he's going to the bathroom, okay. Oh! Heather was paid $231 for her time off on leave today. And apparently she has- she made his friend! Yay! She- she's got the friends! Uh... And I guess her charisma skill got a boost. Ah, oh, it did. Okay. So, we will have them finish up their friends. Ooh, Ruby Broke has been flirting with somebody else. And she just improved her charisma skill to level 5. Sweet. And she's gonna go home. I'll see what Hubby is doing down here. He's lightened up. He's taking a nap, apparently. You know, he's so upset about that fight he just had with his wife. He's gonna clean the sink, just just so she can have some a nice clean house to get home to. And she's he's gonna go to the bathroom, and then these these two are gonna work it out. They're gonna chat. You know, he's gonna apologize. Lobney Posse Patoom, Saha. Their relationship has kind of been going downhill a bit because of their argument, so he's just gonna talk to her a little bit. Now make sure, you know, she knows, they know that they're in love. They do love each other a lot, even if they can't really agree. See, they're kissing. They're, they're okay. They're okay. You know, they're 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 having issues and their relationship isn't as good as it could be. Zoop Jahani Moss T Zebi. You know, they're they're working on it. I'm sure they'll be able to work it out. So I guess they'll have some leftovers for dinner tonight. He feels like eating a mushroom omelette because those things were expensive as heck to make. She's gonna go and clean the toilet and then use it, you know? They worked it out. They're... They're okay again, I guess. At least their fight is over. She's gonna eat some mushroom omelets, too. Oh, he wanted to give her a hug. What are those? <laughs> the toilet is so cheap. It, it's causing her so much grief. I feel so sorry for her. She's so poor. But yeah, she's just gonna finish that up. And then get herself some food. And I guess we will work on their skills in the morning. She's gonna take a shower and get some sleep. No, you you gotta you wait a minute, boy. You can fix the sink, you're a big strong man. So he'll fix the sink. Then he'll probably take a shower, go to the bathroom and go to bed. Let's see here. Oh, he leveled up in handiness, that's nice. And I'll probably just leave the mess there. Oh, he didn't even fix it. So they're just gonna sleep with a broken sink in the house. Okay. Yeah, you you do that. You do you, guys. Uh, she can clean the stove, I guess. And when she gets to work, she'll probably have a boost in her performance, her charisma skill is doing good. I'm gonna have her get up to call the repair technician because this is getting nuts. I'll have her mop the puddle up too. Because like, even I am bothered by this. I really want them to eat up all the mushroom omelets, so I'll have her have another serving of that stuff. Thanks, repair guy. And looks like work is here, so she's gonna head off. 
I will have her work hard because I need them to get raises and get into a nicer house for my storyline. Everything is running smooth. So, yes, she had a big boost in her performance. So he's going to get up. He's going to mop up the puddle because he needs to take care of the house too. We'll probably have him make some food again. I'm spending so much money just on the food. But you know, they, they, he needs to work on his skill. I'm, once he's leveled up again, I will probably have him stop obsessively cooking. But you know, also maybe not because he's about to get a promotion. But hopefully he'll be making enough money by then that he can pay for all the food he's making. When do you have work next? In a few hours, okay. Go ahead and eat. Let's see their simology. Yeah, they're they are a long way from aging up. It's all good. She's a working and she's gonna get a promotion. Again. They're really advancing in their careers. I am proud of them. <laughs> go to work, Odin. Have you work hard too? I really want them to get their promotions and get into a bigger house. And I will have her go ahead and get some sleep when she gets home. And she got a promotion. Yay! She's a yes woman now. Hopefully, you're ready to nod your head in the affirmative because you've worked your way into the position of yes woman. Should the city vote on bond 452? See? Yes. Should we elect a new police commissioner? Yes. How does this tie look? Yes. There's only one answer to give if you want to stay in your superior's good graces. And she now makes 45 bucks an hour. Nice. Good job. So I'll let you get a little bit of sleep till your husband gets home. Except he probably won't be home for a while. So just until your energy levels are, like, a little bit better. What your skill is at? You need more charisma. Okay, so let's see here. I didn't mean to jump across town. Okay. Now that she's doing a little bit better, let's have her eat some leftover sushi. Okay, you've made your bed. What's the weather like? It's 74 degrees out. It is so hot out. Well, I mean, hot to me right now. Because it is, like, early spring right now. And it's still getting to the point where it's warming up. So we'll just let her <laughs> eat and clean up. And then we'll have her just clean the stove. Apparently she's having fun while cleaning. And she can take a shower and practice her speaking. Because we need her to get up in charisma. And hubby's out of work and he got a promotion too. Someone clearly respects your taste, which means many arduous mouthfuls to stomach as the role of ingredient taster. Bring the charm along with the apron because how co-workers evaluate you will definitely, ultimately, determine your role in the restaurant. And now he makes 54 bucks an hour. Sweet. Okay. He needs to get along with his co-workers too then, but he's doing okay through that. And he needs to get home and just chill, watch some TV. I'll have her just practice her speaking, make sure her charisma gets up a little bit. He can just chill, get his fun up. Because needs are harder to take care of in these games than they are in Sims 4. Which is a bit of a pain, but I'm not complaining. Sound adapted. Sadamu, Bazira, Bre. 
Alright, we're just gonna chill, I guess. How's your fun level? Your fun levels are good. A plus. Are you watching? He watches like nothing but the cooking channel, I swear. Why don't, why don't you join? Make sure your fun level gets up a bit too. A hubby needs sleep, but we're gonna have him eat a piece of pumpkin pie first. Make sure she's good and fun. She is aces. So go ahead, get up. Eat some pumpkin pie. Their needs are like all I'm taking care of. It is so annoying. I want to advance my story, please. But luckily, there's nothing much going on that I need to advance. <sighs> Do you have work today? No, you don't. They both have a day off. I think she has a day off. I don't know if he does, though. He does not. That's kind of sad that their days off don't, like, fit together. We'll have him go to the bathroom and take a shower when he wakes up. What are you doing? Oh, you're eating some pumpkin. That's right, I told him to do that. Okay. Mm. Mm. There's not much going on yet, because I just want them to do good in their careers before anything else. But once they have earned their promotions and stuff, and they're making enough to be able to afford a bigger house, then I will make sure that they are good and their story takes priority over everything else. So I'm having him just watch the cooking channel. And Heather is getting to the point where she'll wake up. Oh, you have work already. That was quick. Alright, run boy, run. Have you work hard. And Heather's waking up, so she'll clean out the bad food in the fridge. You're on level four of the politics, okay. So let's have her, she's gonna make the bed cause she's a neat freak. And then she's gonna go and eat, and that is fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. No, she's not eating, she's cleaning out the bad food. Of course, I don't know what I expected. So we'll have her eat some pumpkin pie after that. And we really need to clean out the newspapers. Like, seriously. I forgot neat sims can just go on a cleaning frenzy and clean their whole house. So we'll have her clean the shower. Because she's too finicky to use it. Okay, go ahead and shower now. Good girl. And we'll have you pee, and then you can practice speaking. Because, like, they do not have enough room for what I have planned for them. Actually, I think when Odin gets off... I might have him pop by the library and see if we can afford a new house yet. Uh, where is the library? Is this it? Yeah, I, I think it is. So let's go and check. <laughs> I mean, it's not time for them to move yet, but... Oh! Is that... Oh, he's got a teenage daughter or a little sister or something. Yes, there's a the computer. Uh... How do 
I do this? Ah, yes. That's a pain. I don't know. I guess when it hits the part where I will move them, I'll just... I don't know. I guess I'll uh, try to see if there's a house in here, in this town that I can afford. Okay, how are you doing on your charisma? Are you anywhere near leveling up? Oh, she needs more friends. Yeesh. No to advance. So I'm gonna have to get her connections. Why don't you go ahead and eat something? Oh, and it's the first day of fall. Ah, oh, the pumpkin pie went bad. Odin, why don't you clean that up? We'll have him go to sleep. He's gonna need to cook again soon. And the game kind of froze. Got some lag going. My computer is yelling at me because it's overworking itself. And since they're both asleep now, I guess that is all the time I have for this part. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all those fun things. And I will catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye.